Jordan to come so we can finish this yeah, part. Yeah. <laughs> it's for them, hopefully they want to <laughs> How did we end up here? Oh well. It's too much. Airbag issues and something else. A long journey of us meeting, discussing, arguing with each other, complaining. <laughs> Uh, but then actually coming up with good results in class, I would say. It's a really long process and I joined a little bit uh, late in the group. How I see it, we basically learn more from the builder than the classes and lectures themselves. Like the professor doesn't, uh, doesn't tell us what to do exactly. We just have to figure it out through the builders. He's always late. He's always late. That's not true. I've waited <laughs> a couple of times. Late. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but I, I don't. I just don't have time. <laughs> you don't have time. No, I don't have time. Really? I didn't know. Jordan, don't mess with me. This <laughs> you said it like fifty times. I you don't have and time. clearly, you <laughs> don't understand, or else you'll be here on time. Mainly design because that's the thing I like most doing. But I've also helped with the numbers, with the financials, and with the idea, coming up with the idea itself. Uh, I'm the IT guy, like I said, so I basically figure out what the app should look like, like in the back end, plus the AI, plus uh, the functions, and basically all the IT stuff. decided on um, the digital wardrobe but we, d we wanted to be unique so we, we decided to add uh, the sustainability part to it where you know people people can either shop sustainably or they can recycle and donate like Erin came up with the idea in class and then we actually went through it and developed it because like at first you have like an avatar and stuff like stuff like that EI basically and you can try on your clothes without actually trying them on. Also, we did the selling part. They, we basically are going to create a community in our app. So, like, users can interact with each other, sell clothes to each other. This way, hopefully, we reduce apparel waste. The unique part about our idea is that there really isn't a. Um, uh, a like an app, app for that. yeah there's not an app for like on the market exactly like it you will find a digital wardrobe app you'll find sustainable brands but our app is kind of we want to create a community where uh, people don't have to have five or ten apps for their things mm -hmm. it's just one app where they can really do it all because we're like four people with different schedules how we could like manage that so we could meet and develop the builder also the financial part that was quite yeah, tough because like yeah. Jordan, it's like the IT guy. Basically had to be an accountant for that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was difficult. I think um, what at, at the beginning, the most difficult part was that we loved our idea so much and we wanted to do so much with it. But then when we did surveys and interviews, a lot of people, you know, had a lot of things that they wanted to see in it and a lot of things to change. So we have to adapt to the market and we just really had to change our idea to uh, to see what the to give what the people they want 
and kind of put our thoughts on the back burner because it's not all about us and we, so, we learned a lot about how to not fall in love with the idea i think that was that was so quite hard right so we're not gonna lie to be honest i think we're lucky like yeah. all of us like all four of us we had like a pretty good relationship since the start <laughs> Zena, who's your favorite you better say me uh my favorite is it has to be Erin and Zayna because I work with them the most. <laughs> so, but Jordan is also a pretty guy, a, pre <laughs> a pretty decent guy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a pretty decent guy. We are very lucky that we got Jordan on our team because he was more of like the IT guy. So he helped us with uh, trying to develop our app. So we worked very well together. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I actually learned quite a bit. That like. Mm -hmm. The main thing that I learned is that even if you come up with an idea that you think it's great, it's gonna do well and stuff like that, it's probably not. <laughs> I think with the with the class, yeah. we I don't know what we expected, but when we started at first and we had to do like meet up and do builders every week, I think that was we thought that was yeah. gonna be horrific. But like now... our first meeting, it kind of <laughs> was not gonna lie. We were like, yeah. what's this? We're yeah, so but... clueless. But now that we're like on the finish line and we see that uh, I like working, like having to submit something every week because it, it doesn't catch up to us and it, it kind of like grows it very gradually. We also get a lot of uh, speakers in class, so that kind of helps us to see, it like, helps a lot, to see the perspective of real entrepreneurs and investors. <laughs> The lunatics are in my hall The paper holds their folded faces to the floor And every day the paper boy brings more